a little progress report. This is how the edge complications look now on my TicWatch Pro 3. Uh, you can see that it works with existing themes, but it's going to be part of a theme pack, a plugin that will contain a couple of themes that will work best with this. Currently, you can see that I'm just adding these edge complications to my existing one-click theme. You can see around the edges, the battery level, weather, step count, and calendar notifications. And you can see the ambient mode where the arcs are thinner to be burning safe and AMOLED friendly. Of course, we can touch these complications to fire up the applications that are linked to them. And we can also long press on these complications to access the settings. So we can assign a complication to each of the arcs. You can see right now it says it's not assigned because the default is actually to show the battery level. But I can tap there and select anything else. I'm actually going to go with the same. So I'm going to assign the watch battery there. You can see that and it shows us this um, preview right there. We can choose whether we want to want it to show up in ambient mode or not, those thin arcs that we saw. And we can also long press on this setting and control the ambient visibility for all edges at the same time. So if you want to disable ambient mode, you want me to go one by one. If ambient is enabled, we can set the ambient colors separately and you can see every edge complication has a primary and a secondary color that we can configure. We can also change the width of these complications. So if I go and increase, you can see it's going to cover part of the dial. Let me just come back to where it was. We are going to have an option, which doesn't work at this point, to actually shrink the clock to make room for the edge. And then the width that you set is actually going to be the shrinkage. And we also have an option uh, to turn it into an arc complication, which is inside an analog watch face. So they appear inside. We have a direct link to the uh, favorite cloud settings where you can control the margins and layout and everything else for your favorites. A little change in this new version. I show this little white arrow on top of every screen it lets us go back to our previous screen. It has worked like this ever since the beginning, but I thought to surface this option for more people to know about this. So we can press that just to exit back to the watch face. Let's take another one-click theme. I'm going to go with one of my favorites from Theme Pack 7, the minimal theme pack. Here I'm going to use this red-blue theme. And I'm actually going to go with all settings default. And you can see with the default settings, it's not ideal to have these arcs at the edges of the screen because they interfere with the dial dot. But this is a typical place where it makes sense to long press on one of these. The uh, margin and width setting is actually common for all four arcs. So they are moved together. So I'm going to shrink this now inside this watch face. So that looks already better. And I'm also going to the favorites and increase the margin there as well. So the bubbles which are inside appear smaller. And also we can long press on the text field and reduce the size a little bit to make it look a little bit better. That's how an analog watch face with the inner arcs would look like. The text color in these arcs are selected automatically. So if we use a lighter color like this yellow one, it's going to use black ink on it. And if it's a darker color, we will have white text on it. However, the text color setting affects this. So if I go to Ar archive settings, and scroll down to the text color controls, uh, this affects 
the watch face as well. So you could see how, I, as I push the text color towards black, some of the complications turned black text. Bringing it to the other side will turn the text on that green bar to white as well. Of course, something in the middle works the best. The last one I'm going to show you is a digital theme. So I have my, my favorite theme bubbles here, so I'm going to just apply that theme. Again, in this case, having these arcs doesn't make much sense, so I'm going to long press one of them and change the margin to zero to push them out. Long pressing that name restores the default and the default to have no margin. Long pressing it again will restore the previous value. So this is an easy way to switch between two margin settings that you often use. The same works with the width. It will toggle between the default and the last value. One more thing I wanted to tell you regarding these color palettes. Once you select a color, let's say we turn this into a little more vibrant blue, uh, you can apply the same color now it's going to be pretty hard to see, but I will do it on the uh, secondary color. If you long press the next one, it will tell you that the color was reused. And then you can go there and just uh, change it to a lighter variant. So this way you can, you can uh, create color combinations. And here uh, you see the lower one now is a little lighter. The, uh, ambient mode, which can actually make sense, so I could leave it like that, but I could long press there and just copy the color over. So this makes it very easy. Take this color, for example, and it makes it very easy to set the ambient colors uh, to the same. This works everywhere. Next time you want to use the same color that you set previously, even on another screen or at another session, you can just long press one of these little color pickers and it's going to gain the previous color. Now we don't fit within the area of the screen, so we can go to the favorite cloud settings right from there and just increase the margin so they appear inside the edges. The clock text barely fits. For this, we will need to go into clock bubble settings, and this is where we can reduce the font size so we, we can fit within there. This is the inactive screen when the swipes bring in the assistant or tiles or the notifications from the bottom. But even in inactive mode, I can detect long presses now. So see how I could long press on that complication to bring in the edit screen. It doesn't work on every part of the screen because of course if we long press the center of the screen then we get into the watch face selector but we can uh, long press certain items. For example, one of the bubbles I was able to long press. Notice I'm clicking on the watch face to bring up the up down arrows so I know I am in inactive mode. Okay so this is where we are right now. I need a couple of more days for the final touches to be implemented and then the new plugin theme pack will become available first to internal testers then to beta testers and eventually to the whole public. I think these arc edge complications together with the text fields, oh, I didn't show you how to add them. So when we add, we add a complication. Of course, we can add a complication bubble. We can add long text complications as P cards. And we used to have the top and bottom text fields and the background image complication. And now we have the arc complication added there. So there you can choose which one you want to add and then select. Uh, so if you, uh, that's the uh, initial way to add them if you don't have any. As soon as you have at least one of them, you can long press and you will be able to then uh, select. So I realized there is one more thing I wanted to show you, how to remove one of these arcs or one of these edge complications. You simply long press on the complication that you want to remove and where you select what's assigned to it, you can just choose empty 
and then you see it's going to be missing both from the active watch face and also from the ambient mode. Right after you removed it, you have a chance to assign something in its place, but once it's gone, you will have to go to the menu item I showed you before to add complication, select the arc complication, and then choose which one you want to add. So this is where we are. Soon it's going to be in your hands to test and enjoy.